May is the month in which Catholics honor Mary, our Heavenly Mother. Thus it is fitting that the faithful also honor their earthly mothers, who are called to imitate Our Lady. The role of a mother in the family, which was perfectly exemplified by her, is that which gives counsel to her children, consoles them in times of suffering, and educates them in the things of the faith. Such a formation is necessary for us to grow into solid, young Catholic men. In the times we live in, the vulnerability of our age requires their prudential advice. Also, our mothers assist us during difficult times, a reflection of Our Lady's consoling Christ on his path to Calvary. Finally, as we are faced with many new and confusing ideas, the Catholic education which faithful mothers give their children prepare them to fight back against the errors of the modern world. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often would I have gathered together thy children, as the hen doth gather chicks under her wings, but thou wouldest not. From the passage of our Lord, we can see that the hen is compared to a mother's loving kindness which she bestows upon the whole family. The loving kindness of a mother is the grace which God gives her, which she uses to teach her children Christian morals. Is there a story that you could tell us of your mother when you were growing up? One time, I was three years old, and I thought I was four years old. But my mom had to convince me several times that I was indeed three years old. I said, Mom, I'm four. And she said, No, David, you're three. Mom, I'm four. No, David, you're three. And so, thank you, Mom, for telling me who I truly am, even though I didn't want to accept the truth. There was a time when I was three years old and I would go around to the neighborhood kids' yards and take all the toy trucks and I would stash them in my room and play with them. And one day my mom found out and she sat me down and taught me that taking stuff without permission was wrong and I should ask next time. So thank you mom for teaching me that taking stuff without permission is wrong. One story that I remember from my mother about my é quando nós estávamos no Brasil e o Brasil meu pai tinha pegado o... a doença do Covid e ele tá... estava ele muito, muito mal. Eu conseguia levantar da cama para fazer nada e uma... minha mãe tinha que estar cuidando dele o tempo inteiro. Oi, eu quero falar obrigado mãe por ter sempre mostrado esse, esse amor para a gente. Muito obrigado, feliz dia das mães. There's one time when we were planning to go to Mass during the week. But well, my mother woke up and she was not feeling well, and was going through a lot of pain. So out of consideration for her, we planned on going to Mass a different day. And she came out, put us in the car, and drove us to Mass. That there showed me how important it was to attend Mass. I remember one time when we were at the end of a prayer, we were making the sign of the cross, and you saw how we were making it irreverently, and so you showed us how to make it reverently. So I'd like to thank you for that. And of course, that's only one example of many, but I'd like to thank you and hope that our Lady and Lord bless you on this blessed Mother Day, and God bless. It is for these and all the sacrifices you have made that we, the students of the St. Louis Montfort Academy, would like to wish our mothers a blessed Mother's Day.